Assalamu alaikum sir. Aajo. Take your seat. May like to introduce you to all of us. Yes, sir. Sir, my name is Hassan Sultan Raja and I am from Rawalpindi. I completed my early education from Army Public School Ordinance Road Rawalpindi. and i completed my matric from 20 in 2013 and uh, i did my fsc from the same college in 2015 after that in 2016 i started my acca and i completed it in 2019 after that i started working in the foji foundation head office in the audit department as a management trainee officer i worked there for more than a year and after that i started preparing for css and then uh, here i am good to begin with if you tell us something about pakistan what is the profile of pakistan how you will explain this country so pakistan is a country um, located in uh, south asia it is uh, geographically located as a, at a very uh, important position it is not only strategically important but also economically uh, very important and uh, it it uh, it can reap the dividends of uh, its uh, location from uh, economic perspective as well as strategic perspective uh, although pakistan has not been able to uh, reap them very well but it can and uh, pakistan has immense potential mineral resources are there tourism potential is there uh, we have immense renewable energy generation potential we have a huge youth bulge Sixty uh, percent of our population is below uh, the thirty years, and we are the fifth largest population of the world. So we are a country with immense potential, I believe, and uh, unfortunately, we have not been able to achieve that potential yet. What is the population of Pakistan? Well, it's uh, approximately two thirty-five million people. What is the area? Total yeah. area of Pakistan? Sir, so it's seven nine six thousand. Kilometer squares. What is the uptake on uh, IMF dialogue with Pakistan? So currently, uh, the IMF delegation is to reach Pakistan on thirty uh, first January, I believe, and Pakistan is expected to resume the program of IMF, which is uh, stalled at the moment. And currently, Pakistan is uh, going to uh, renegotiate it because Pakistan is left with no other option but to resume it. Uh, Pakistan has previously the government was of the opinion that it could uh, evaluate some other options like rely on friendly countries for financing but uh, that option has not been very viable in the current situation you have done acca yes sir what is the concept of audit function the audit is basically the systematic uh, checking of or scrutiny of the books or accounts of an organization and the basic purpose of audit is to give a guarantee to the shareholders who are the owners of a business entity and uh, the the companies are basically run by directors the directors are not the owners so the owners need some reassurance uh, regarding what uh, the directors how their money is being used by the directors and that assurance is provided by the auditors and that is what audit is basically you are an auditor yes sir how you will review the performance of parliament for the last 5 years uh, of the parliament sir pakistan parliament how you will make a review just give us a general understanding sir uh, over oh, i would uh, first of all consider the uh, the inflow of the budget the 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 amount of rupees that have been allocated by the government to the parliament and then i would see that how the, that money has been spent over the year how what allocations have been made and whether the allocations have actually been utilized in the correct heads that's as an auditor i would see that whether the the, the money has been correctly spent or there have been any uh, embezzlement or not that's what i would be looking for welcome to csp's academy for css pms preparation CSSPMS तहरीरी इम्तहान के तमाम मजामी की ऑनलाइन और ऑन कैंपस तैयारी के साथ साथ सब्जेक्ट सिलेक्शन असाइनमेंट चेकिंग क्लास टेस्ट मॉक एग्जाम इंडिविजुअल टीचर डिस्कशन और फीडबैक सेशन का इनका किया जाएगा इसके अलावा एफ पी एस सी की तजवीज करदा बुक्स ऐसी बने मैरी नोट और सी एस पी पब्लिशर की बेहतरीन बुक्स मुहैया की जाएंगी रजिस्टर नाउ एट जीरो थ्री वन सिक्स फाइव सेवन जीरो 
1593. What are the reasons for the energy crisis in Pakistan? So I think the biggest reason is uh, our flaw in policy making in uh, Pakistan. We are basically a, um, uh, our energy mix uh, is basically overly reliant on thermal energy production. Uh, like 66% of energy that we produce is produced from fossil fuels, oil or gas uh, or coal. Uh, but uh, we uh, do not uh, have, have indigenous resources. Production of oil is not done here. We import that. Uh, on the other hand, we could have produced energy from hydro power or solar or wind power. So we have not diversified our production sources. So the flaw in the energy mix of the country is the biggest problem. And that is why we are facing energy crisis, because it's becoming too much expensive for us to produce electricity. As in the last five years, we have seen the impact of media, impact of social media on politics, and especially with reference to Turkey. If you could recall, do you recall that uh, social media played some role in Turkey when there was a coup? Yes, sir. Tell us something. Uh, sir, I'm aware of the fact that um, in Turkey there was a coup and it was basically uh, defeated by the common people. How? Communication channel? Care. Sir, mainly it was, uh, I'm not exactly sure about it, but I would say that it was social media played an important role in and people, they just came out on the roads and they, uh, they just uh, prevented the military from taking over eventually and they uh, just re-established the civilian regime. And it uh, and it uh, allowed civilian government to continue there, and and the social media basically played uh, plays generally an important role in political awareness of the people, and in our country as well. I think it has raised the political intellect of the people to a much larger extent. Now, the two provincial government have been dissolved, and there is a uh, interim setup. How you analyze the situation? Where we are going at the national level? How you see this politics? Um, sir, in my personal opinion, I would um, I would have preferred that the elections would have been her, would have been held on time, um, like in August when the this elections were due, because political stability is essential for our country and for economic stability of our country. So uh, having elections in 66% of Pakistan, the two major provinces, and now if we go into elections uh, in March or April, and then in August in the rest of Pakistan, now this will uh, continue uh, after the next four to four, four and a half years. Again, this will happen. So uh, it will create a, an atmosphere of instability in the country throughout. So it would have been much better if the politicians would have been able to sit at the table and make a consensus and decide on a single course of action. Thank you. A pleasure. What is performance auditing? The performance auditing is basically the audit of a uh, performance of a division. It, it measures the effectiveness and efficiency of a uh, department or a division of a company and how as to how effective or efficient the processes or operations have been. You have heard of public accounts committee. Yes, sir, I'm aware of that. What role is assigned to it? The Public Accounts Committee is basically a parliamentary committee and it is it basically reviews the audit observations of the government departments. They are presented to it annually by the Auditor General of Pakistan. Audit observations or audit paras? The audit paras, sir. How are audit paras finalized? Sir, I believe that the Auditor General of Pakistan, they, they conduct the audit of various departments and they perform, they produce the reports, uh, and the the contents of those reports are in the form of audit paras. Their observations are basically listed in paras, and they basically form the audit paras. Join CSPs, where we believe that your dreams are our mission. So let us be your partners in this transformative journey as we equip you with knowledge, confidence, and resilience required to emerge as CSS toppers. Contact us on our given WhatsApp number 0316-570-1593 or visit our website www.csps.com.pk And that's the end of it or there's something more to it uh, or in Paris. They contain the information about the observations, sir? 
So I'm saying, how are they finalized? You see, you convey those audit paras to the department. Then what department does? Yes, sir. They basically, I, as far as I'm aware, they issue a compliance report in response and they comply with the observations. And, and then finally, if audit department doesn't agree with the the response, those are then final authorities uh, converted into audit paras, right? As a foreign service officer, how will you promote the business interests of Pakistan? Sir, I believe as a foreign service officer, I would like to uh, promote the potential of Pakistan to other countries. Uh, in this regard, I would highlight that Pakistan has a huge bulge of young population. And there are some countries which are facing the problem of aging population like in Japan and other uh, than Norwegian country, uh, Scandinavian countries. So in in their, these countries, there's a huge demand of youth. So I can make some uh, uh, talks with them or arrange some uh, seminars with them, whereby our youth can be exported there. And then I can also invite some uh, uh, businesses there to establish here where they can find workforce in the form of young citizens who are educated and who are in huge number. And Pakistan has no shortage of workers. So I think these interests can be promoted there as a foreign service officer. Uh, what is the forest cover of our country? I think it is 4%. And can you name some of the important forests of our country? So one is uh, Changa Manga Forest. And um, I'm not aware of the rest, sir. Where is Juniper Forest? I'm not aware of that, sir. Map, National Action Plan. It comprised of how many uh, points? Sir, it uh, comprises of 20 points. What do you think uh, about the action taken on each of the points? Yes, sir, I'm not exactly sure about the uh, action taken on the points, but generally the idea was to thwart out terrorism and extremism and to basically root out the extremist tendencies from the society. And some um, uh, considerable gains were made in this regard, but uh, there have been uh, criticism on the gains that have been made and uh, the actions that have been taken. Okay. Every point has a mandate. You see, objective, clear cut objective is there in uh, every point. So, uh, please, when you go back, have a look at them and then try to make up your mind. I will say, inshallah. You, you say uh, weakness, aiming for perfection in tasks. What's so bad about it? I mean, everyone, I would like to aim for perfection, to do my task in the best possible manner. Yes, sir. That basically relates to my uh, professional uh, uh, career. When I was to uh, present uh, the audit reports, and uh, it basically was a very tight schedule in which we had to prepare reports and submit them to the higher management. Now, uh, to make a perfect report, it required a lot of time. And uh, I usually tended to make it perfect in all respects. And that was quite uh, difficult to achieve in a very short period of time. What uh, I learned, however, was that we cannot achieve perfection in every task. So sometimes it is all right to uh, be complacent with what can we, we can achieve. Give your career a boost with CSS PMS preparation from Civil Services Preparatory School. Join CSS PMS for on-campus and online classes. Join us for your bright future. Civil Services Preparatory School, Jitan Markaz, Islamabad. Register now at 0316-570-1593. Uh, uh foreign service is your option number three. Can you tell me what is the hierarchy of an embassy? Uh, what is the hierarchy of the yes. service, ma'am? Yes. Uh, Not the service, the embassy. Because service has two parts, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the embassy. I'm asking about embassy. Uh, ma'am, I'm sorry, I'm not aware of the hierarchy of the embassies. Okay. Your favorite person is your father. Yes, ma'am. You have no other favorite person? No, ma'am, I haven't. Can you tell us about your father? Yes, ma'am, I can. Mm -hmm. My father is my inspiration, basically. 
and uh, the reason why he is is that he has taught me to uh, basically uh, uh, always work hard for my dreams and he has always supported me in doing that uh, not only me my uh, sisters and i have basically seen him uh, support uh, each and every one of us and i see him as an inspiration and he has been very uh, bold and courageous throughout his life and that is what inspires me about him what is the difference between audit and accounting audit is basically the systematic checking or scrutiny of books with a view to find out any uh, discrepancies in it uh, especially and accounting is basically the recording of the financial transactions so that is the fundamental difference between them and what is the difference between finance and economics well finance is basically uh, the capital or the uh, money that businesses use to uh, conduct their operations it is the capital that uh, is required to start a business and economics is basically the a larger concept it it's uh, about uh, the uh, about the about the financial or you can say monetary situation of a country as a whole so it's a larger concept than finance finance is a limited concept climate change uh is it a new thing uh, ma'am uh, if we uh, consider it in the whole human history it's probably a new thing because it's uh, it the phenomena is probably 100 years old it's uh, or 150 years old it has uh, occurred after the industrial revolution uh, because the first uh, manifestation of it was after the london smog of 1952 uh, before it we see no as such manifestation of climate change so in this way we can say that it is a new concept but for our generation uh, i think it is a pretty much old concept and we cannot be complacent with it and uh, we cannot consider it a normal thing we must act uh, and we uh, we must uh, deal with it on an emergency basis thank you very much el hasan uh, tell me in which year sharif report prepared um, sir i am not aware of that do you know when the second constitution of pakistan abrogated yes sir in which year sir it was abrogated in 1969 in which year muslims proposed delhi muslim proposal uh, yes sir it was uh, if i am not wrong in 1939 1939 or 1927 sir okay this is my last question in which year woodrow wilson presented his 14 points so he presented them after the world war 1 and uh, in which year sir in 1914 i believe uh, what is the significance of his 14 points so the most significant point was that he proposed a league of nations to be formed uh, to prevent an event like the world war 1 and one other name one other very important and very significant point among the 14 points of good wilson uh, no sir i'm not aware of that okay thank you let's close it let's have a informal session this is a your practice yes sir mock interview do we know each other yes theek hai the question baat ye hai ki you are very good theek hai you are but your competition is very tough in punjab you come from rawal pindi yes sir एक तो अखबार पढ़ो रोजाना ये हम ऐसे नहीं खर्च करते रोजाना पढ़ने के लिए होता है ये अखबार यू मस्ट बी वेरी करंट ऑन दी करंट इशू अपना जो इंट्रोडक्शन है मेक इट वन पेजर दस पेज लिखने के बाद एक पेज निकालो एक मिनट में डिलीवर करो और देयर यू विल सेट योर टोन फॉर द इंटरव्यू उसमें जब लिखने बैठोगे देन यू विल गेट टू नो कि मैंने अपने बारे में क्या लिखना है आई प्रोफाइल ऑफ पाकिस्तान उसको देखो आज जाके ठीक है यू आर ए स्टेबल पर्सनैलिटी यू आर आर्टिकुलेट 
your communication skills are very fine oral as well as body language you are confident when you have the knowledge confidence lose hota hai when you don't get the proper information to mera ye khayal hai tum state of preparedness mein ho lekin half hearted ho abhi tumhe you have got time ek mahina hai luckily you have done it i am very pleased to see it but now you need to prepare tum threshold pe ho mere hisab se one pager banao तीन महीने के पुराने सारे अंग्रेजी के अखबार ढूंढो डान न्यूज कोई भी और उनके नेशनल इंटरनेशनल डोमेस्टिक न्यूज सोशल इश्यूज पे सारा रिव्यू करो नोटबुक बनाइए अपनी इंटरव्यू नोटबुक एक इंटरव्यू नोटबुक बनाओ समथिंग लाइक दैट हर पेज पे हेडिंग लिखो सौ टॉपिक इसमें तुम आइडेंटिफाई करो और हर टॉपिक पे हेडिंग और पांच पॉइंट इट इज डिफरेंट interview and written is different an interview you have got time to think and write but interviews instant prompt reply then hota hai to ye jab tum rehearsal karoge na apni ye notebook banaoge ek hafte mein 100 topic isme dalo imf hai energy crisis hai pak china hai us china hai us india china hai sea pack hai you name any topic jo aapne padhe un sab ko likho heading banao har kisi ke panch point point likho unko repeat karo रिव्यू करते रहो मुस्तकिल देन यू विल मेमोराइज और जब जवाब दो तो टल दो दो चार पॉइंट बार फेंको ठीक है ना दिस इज हाउ यू विल बी एबल टू गेट मतलब नॉलेज गैप अपना कवर करोगे तो वन पेजर न्यूज पेपर रीडिंग नॉलेज गैप को अटेंड करो स्टेट ऑफ प्रिपेयरनेस में हालत जंग में आओ हालत जंग में यू आर गोइंग टू मेक इट बट यू नीड टू बी इन दैट यू नीड टू वर्क वेरी हार्ड ठीक है आप सर आपके ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट्स पर तोज्जो दें आपके ऑरिजिन एंड अकाउंट्स आपने ए सी सी ए किया हुआ है यू हैव डन दैट एंड इट इज वन ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट्स सो इस ये तो आपको इस पर तो आपको थर्ड ग्रेस पाना चाहिए परफॉर्मेंस ऑडिटिंग कोई ऐसी कोई चीज़ नहीं आज कल ये हो रही है ये ऑडिट एंड अकाउंट्स डिपार्टमेंट करते हैं प्राइवेट कंपनीज करती हैं और ये बाकी भी वो ऑडिट पैरल्स वगैरह के बारे में भी आप का सवाल जो आप फॉरेस्ट के बारे में आपको जो करना है पाकिस्तान एक सिर्फ छागा मगर आपने बताएं और भी हैं फॉरेस्ट हैं तो वर्ल्ड सेकंड लार्जेस्ट फॉरेस्ट है पाकिस्तान में जूनीपर फॉरेस्ट बलूचिस्तान में तो ये इस चीज़ का जो है ना आपके ऊपर नैप नेक्शन एक्शन प्लान भी आपका जो है जवाब जो सही नहीं है तो इन चीज़ों पर तोज्जो दें ठीक है बाकी यू आर इन एक्टिविटी ड्रेस बड़ा अच्छा ठीक है और जैसे आपको कहा गया है आपको कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल भी अच्छा है और कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स भी अच्छी है तो इस पर आप इसका फ़ायदा उठाएं ट्राई टू बिल्ड ऑन दैम हसन यू हैव अ गुड पर्सनैलिटी नॉलेज आप आपको है सबने बता भी दिया है Uh, the thing is that when you go into interview, you will be questioned on what you write here. This is about the environmental science. Likha hai. Environment pe aapko bahut sawal aenge, including forests, including glaciers. It can be anything. Or then Pakistan ka Geneva me performance. Us pe bhi aenge pledges the ke loans the ke kya tha. You know, all those questions can come. So you should have a thorough knowledge. अभी आपकी नॉलेज गैप है ठीक है वर्क ऑन दैट फेवरेट पर्सनैलिटी वाई डू दे आस्क अबाउट फेवरेट पर्सनैलिटी कभी सोचा है फेवरेट पर्सनैलिटी वो इसलिए पूछते हैं बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू जज यू फ्रॉम द पर्सनैलिटी यू चूज इफ यू राइट माई फादर और माई मदर और माई ब्रदर That means के अभी आपका दिमाग खुला नहीं है आप वो उसी बेबी फॉर्म में ऑल चिल्ड्रन लव देर फादर आई लव माई फादर टू मे गॉड ब्लेस इज सोल बट वेन यू आर कमिंग इन अ जॉब इंटरव्यू यू शुड हैव अ पर्सनैलिटी है दैट इज रिफ्लेक्टिव ऑफ योर पर्सनैलिटी ऑल्सो इट शुड बी अ न्यूट्रल पर्सनैलिटी नॉट अ कंट्रोवर्शियल पर्सन बिकॉज कंट्रोवर्शियल पर्सनैलिटी लिखेंगे यू विल बी सीन एज अ कंट्रोवर्शियल कैरेक्टर ठीक है सो जो भी पर्सनैलिटी चूज करो उसको पूरे उसके सारे एस्पेक्ट स्टडी करो और इंश्योर करो कि वो 
कंट्रोवर्शल नहीं है और अगर कंट्रोवर्शल है तो उसकी जस्टिफिकेशन क्या है क्योंकि द पैनल इज जजिंग यू अब नो बडी नोज योर फादर है वी कान जज यू फ्रॉम द पर्सनैलिटी यू हैव चोजन एक्सेप्ट दैट यू हैव नॉट रियली ग्रोन आउट एज एन इंडिपेंडेंट पर्सन बट यू स्टिल अंडर द शेडो विच इज नॉट अ गुड रिफ्लेक्शन अदर देन दैट यू आर फाइन नॉलेज गैप फिल कर लें डिटेल्स अपनी पढ़ लें इन शह यू आर अ विनिंग हॉर्स विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट आपके जो ऑप्शनल हैं और आपके जो कंपल्सरी आपने नोट्स बनाए होंगे उनको एक मतलब रिवाइज करें उससे आपको डेट भी पता चलेगी उनको थोड़ो रीडिंग करें ऑब्जेक्टिव्स को ऑब्जेक्टिवली रीड नहीं किया करते उसको सब्जेक्टिवली पढ़ेंगे तो आपको सारी चीज़ें रिवाइज हो जाएंगी आपका नॉलेज गैप जो विजिबल है उसको फिल करें ठीक है थैंक यू ठीक है तो जो इसमें लिखो जो स्टेटमेंट उसको आपने सपोर्ट करना है डिफेंड करना है और करेंट नॉलेज होना चाहिए बेस्ट ऑफ लक यू हैव डन वेरी वेल Thank you so much. My record to your father. I know him. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.